One of the things that we really love to do when we are back in town, of course, is visit all of our fr friends and... Our fremenies? Fremenies. <laughs> that's, that's family, no. friends, and enemies. And enemies, for, no. For our fremenies? <laughs> travel nurse we travel the country and we live inside our RV and we are encouraging other families to take a not so ordinary path whatever that is for them yeah we're kind of excited because we're finally enjoying our first paycheck in almost seven weeks so we have made it from our last contract all the way through to here and uh, yeah, we survived it by being thrifty and some boondocking. <laughs> and a nice cushy savings account. That's right. Thankfully. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Travel Nursing, for enabling both of which to happen. Yes, definitely. So it's a been a little bit tricky because we like to separate our videos into our contracts. Mm -hmm. And we're on contract number five yet, but the content that we put out is not yet here in Missouri in contract number five. So yeah. it's all been in a special playlist that you can play up here um, called In Between the Contracts. <laughs> so you'll find the last six weeks up there and they were pretty packed full of pretty oh, cool things. Oh, we did a lot of stuff. Yeah, in the yeah. last six weeks, which is awesome. Yep. Um, today will be the last video in that playlist and we are going to take you home with us to home base, that is. <laughs> you excited? Ooh, I know exactly where we are. It's right there. It's right down there. We get a lot of questions about our taxes and how we do it as a travel nurse. And since we're not tax advisors, we thought we would give you the next best thing. We're giving you information that we have taken from TravelTax.com, which is a tax firm that basically specializes in travel professionals. So there are essentially two paths that you can take from this, and this is the one that we take. You used to work there, but you don't anymore, and now maintain a residence at that location. If you are renting, it needs to be fair market value. So go to your local Craigslist and look up rooms and shares. Print out a couple of these ads and keep it with your tax info. And then pay the amount monthly to your parent or friend or whatever. Don't make it cash, but have it be something that you can actually track and keep records of, like cancel checks. Going forward, you need to spend approximately 30 days a year there. It's not a magic number, but it is what they found to be usually satisfying for most home tax audits. So. There you have it. We pay a family member a monthly rent amount. Yeah, we actually pay them, that's yes. key. <laughs> yes, we actually pay them, it's theirs to use however they please. Yep. And we maintain a permanent address, and that is actually really for our mailing and for school purposes also. Yep. And then we are required to spend money in our tax home area, which is usually the, they like to say, like a 90 minute radius. We're supposed to be, you know, spending money to prove that we've been there for at least 30 days of the year. What do we do when yeah. we come back Guess to what? home base, to our tax home? We should show them. It's a dirty hair, ball cap kind of day. I've run around doing all kinds of errands. I don't know about you guys, but whenever we are at home base, we have a to-do list that is a mile long. The fun to-dos are visiting the family and friends, but then we have all the other things we have to get done. While we're here, we are taking the truck in, we're taking the rig in, or we're trying to take the rig in. We have all these things that we're trying to get ready for. We're gonna, we're gonna, uh, probably go to Goodwill again. We have a bunch of things to go through on the rig and get try to shed some weight. And today I bought a new bike rack for the van 
so that we can move the bikes from the truck to the van when we're traveling and try to mitigate overloading the truck as best we can. That's kind of fun, Mama. Yeah, I like it. Okay, I'm gonna let you do the tilt. <laughs> We've taken the bikes out of the bed of the truck and put them on the back of Kristen's car. Finally. Kristen did a fantastic <laughs> job of finding us a new but used, basically the guy had bought it and never taken it out of the box, bike rack for like 70 bucks for super cheap. And yeah, now we're putting it on here and we're testing it all out. So yeah, it was a super find. Super find, uh -huh. Woo, fancy. I'm getting my country on listening to some country music and cleaning this rig because uh dang we have been parked here at my in-laws house now for a week and we've been half living inside and half living out here like using the bathroom and showers and seeing some stuff inside because we don't have water or sewer we have water we don't have sewer hookups so we're trying to make our tanks last a really long time but we do have um, electric and so John and I have been sleeping out here because it's our bed and we're used to it and uh, but the kids have been slumber partying between here and Nanny and Papa's and they are loving it and today is a work day so John is working on my van putting on new rotors new brakes he's gonna take the truck in to get some upgrades I'll let him tell you all about the upgrades on our truck I didn't know you were recording me. So how much did you spend on the lifetime brakes? The same amount of money that you would spend buying regular brakes any other time. But I don't know how much that is. You just don't want to tell me the number. I don't want to tell you the number because I bought rotors too. After getting a recommendation for a good exhaust shop, we found one downtown and the guy fixed it. It ended up being for free. He said to come back when I had some real work for him. Mail just got here, UPS delivered my Bilstein shocks. Yeah. The shocks alone, it looks a lot better. Yeah, it does. No more squatty potty. Well, I'm trying to put the stabilizer jack on the new one and of course, you probably can't see it, but it's a rain delay. Here she is in all her glory. This is the original OEM, as you might say. You guys are aware if you've been with us for a bit. Um, I have banged this poor stabilizer jack in a few different locations. I know one of them hit pretty good uh, when we were backing up. At one point, it bent it one way, and another one hit another time where I drug it along. So going to be replacing this. It looks like it's going to be pretty easy. There's just four bolt points to it and I've got a replacement to bolt up after that. Yeah, not too, not too tough. So we'll see how long it takes me to get this off. These are the side-by-side -side comparisons of the model J-2500 from the original trailer. I ended up looking this one up on Harbor Freight. Um, $36 with some change for tax. And it's even beefier, actually. I, it's kind of hard to see here. It is a little bit heavier because it's a little bit wider. This one is rated to 5,000 pounds. Again, being stabilizer jacks, you're not ever going to use these to actually lift the trailer. These are just to put down on the ground to stabilize. I know Harbor Freight, sometimes it's got a reputation and there may be some things that I won't buy there. I like these things because I can purchase their replacement warranty, which is generally up to two years. It cost me $7 for that stabilizer jack. There's a high likelihood, guys, based on how we boondock, that it's gonna get bent in two years, and all I gotta do is take it off and take it right back to them and they give me a new one. It's gonna require me to tap the little bracket a little bit, the uh, mounting position where it's like pre-drilled on the Harbor Freight jack does not match up perfectly, so I am gonna have to just tap through the bracket a little. I don't think it's gonna be a big deal. Again, I'm not using that to hold up Wendy. It's just a stabilizer jack. So basically, we just make sure that we take care of all the typical things 
that you would think of that are important to do in terms of maintenance, not only to the vehicles, but also like the family. Yes, yeah. Our home base is the time that we have to take care of our dentist appointments and our um, eye appointments, doctor's appointments, all those yeah. things, which is funny because we didn't actually do it when we rolled through town, but since we're staying in Como, <laughs> uh, which is We're, only a, like yeah. an hour and a half or it's no, two hours two hours away yeah it, it, it a little bit longer from where we're boondocking right now but uh, we're close enough that we can go back. That way we don't have to look for doctors and such on the road. Like all the- You can keep, I mean, yeah. uh, there's a, a very special dental hygienist in our life, you know? And there's <laughs> um, doctor physician practices and uh, eye doctors yeah. and stuff that you like to keep and that you are comfortable with. So yeah, it's just easier and we have to go back anyway. Right. So it might, makes sense just to, you know, catch it up and stuff. Yeah, and this time, our trip back to Kansas City actually fell on our anniversary. Yeah. So we got to do a date night, which was fun. <laughs> Yay! Date night! <laughs> I love you so much. I love you too. <laughs> Does your man still do this? Come and open the door. It's so cute! Kristen and I are out for our 17th year anniversary. Cheers! Hanging out at Forelli's, I think that's how you say it, right? Yeah, For Fiorella's. Fior Fiorella's Jack Stack, which Kansas City is known for its barbecue, and this is our barbecue place. Not to mention the drinks aren't bad either. Cheers again. Cheers, Cheers again. again. Yeah, All right, I'll check. of our romantic date. <laughs> We're the best, you guys. We're the best. We are going into Nebraska Furniture Mart. We're in search of a storage bench to replace our booth in the rig. So, yes. we well, shall see. We've ripped out everything else and yeah. we're still not really happy with the way it turned out, so. Yeah, we're it's looking a little more. too bulky and not easily accessible for all the school supplies that are in it. So we'll see. I, and Ikea was the first stop tonight and it was kind of a bust. Yeah, it didn't go so well. Yeah. Sorry, Ikea. Here we are. One of the things that we really love to do when we're back in town is to spend time and visit our family and friends. Turtle rescue! Little box turtle. Oh. Not very happy. He was not, he was Don't trying to cross the road. He nose. might pinch you. He might. See his little legs? He can touch his legs. Touch his legs. He'll pee on you. Yeah, don't, don't get near his mouth. He'll bite you. Okay, we're just gonna come over there and set him down. So you see his little black claws? They're not gonna claw you, they just look scary. But don't get your hands near his mouth. Thank you so much for joining us. We hope that these videos offer you something as much as we enjoy making them. And if you're brand new here, please let us know. Leave comments in the section below that you can. Tell us you know, a little bit about yourself. Feel free to email us and make sure you visit our brand new website that Kristen has really revamped. On there, you're gonna find all sorts of amazing information, yeah. including some really cool stuff that's coming up. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so check that out. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up, ring the bell for notifications, and we will see you out there.